um, number nine. Three more questions here. So what are three equivalent factors of three fourths? So I want three equivalent factors of three fourths. So you look at three fourths here as a fraction, right? When I'm talking about equivalent factors here, I'm talking about the opposite of expanding, the opposite of reducing, sorry. So this is the opposite of reducing. So recall, so recall that reducing a fraction, for example, if I had 10 over 100, recall that reducing a fraction is dividing the numerator and the denominator, right? So I'm dividing the numerator and the denominator by the same number here. So 10 divided by 10 is 1, 100 divided by 10 here is 10. And this here is the process of reducing, right? So this guy here is reducing. So if I'm doing the opposite of reducing, I am simply multiplying right, instead of dividing here. So this here would give me our equivalent factors. So let's do it for this example here. So I have 3 fourths here. And then I'm going to multiply it by some number to get me an equivalent factor, right? So in this case, uh, a fraction here actually has infinite amount of any fractions, right? Because I can always change what number I'm multiplying by. So let me multiply by 2 first. So this here, 3 times 2 here is 6. 4 times 2 here is 8. This here, 6 eighths here, is an equivalent factor to 3 fourths, right? So this here is our first solution. My second solution can give me, I'm changing the two here, maybe I'll change it to three maybe. So this here is three, three times three here is nine, uh, nine times three here is 12, and this here would give me a second solution. So this here is nine over 12, and finally I would want three factors, right? So let's switch it up here, so three over four, and multiply this by 10. It does not matter which number you put here again. Multiply by 10. This would equal three times 10 here is 30, four times 10 here is 40, right? This here is another equivalent factor. So the moral of the story here is that these guys, you can put them to basically any real number you want, except they have to be the same, right? So you can put like six or nine or something like that, or four and one or something like that. It doesn't matter. We, a fraction has infinite amount of equivalent factors. So these are just three solutions or three examples of solutions that you could have. Um, in terms of the equivalent factors of 3, 4. So 6 over 8, 9 over 12, and 30 over 40. Again, they had it where they had 6 8, 9 12, and they did a, they changed here this to 4 here. So 3 times 4 is 12, 4 times 4 is 16. So 12 over 16 is also an equivalent factor. So the solution here is also correct. Good analysis. <laughs>